This is your Weather Extreme video for Thursday, July the 28th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. James Spann is on vacation, so we're on a one-a-day Weather Extreme video schedule through next Wednesday. Thanks to uh, Steve Lawless for sending in this gorgeous uh, uh, sunset shot, uh, looking out over parts of Mobile Bay, and uh, certainly appreciate people sending in those lovely pictures. Satellite image this morning shows that we have a few clouds, uh, a little more numerous across the northern, uh, oh, the northern quarter, quarter of the state of Alabama, the northwestern quarter maybe, uh, but most of uh, Alabama to the south and uh, southeast staying in the clear sky. The uh, upper air pattern for the next several days is going to uh, can feature this bit of a weakness that we have over the Mississippi River Valley, and that has been helping to keep temperatures in check. As we saw a high at Birmingham yesterday of only 89, that's two degrees below our typical average of uh, 91 for this time of year. At the surface, though, we're looking at uh, the weather system staying well to our north uh, along the Ohio River Valley primarily. So that just puts us in kind of an area where because of the weakness aloft, we're going to get at least uh, a few more showers than we typically see on most days. Temperatures this morning starting out generally in the 70s for across much of north and central Alabama. Uh, Birmingham sitting at 76, but a lot of spots getting down into the lower parts of the 70s. Radar shows that we do have uh, some showers, especially off to the northwest and to the west. Looks like uh, especially the western, oh, the western third and the northern third of the state of Alabama will see a little bit better chances for showers. But for most of us, they will be a little bit more numerous, so we have at least some chance of getting some rain. The watch warning map is uh, not too bad uh, along that area uh, in the Ohio and um, or the Ohio River Valley stretching down into Middle Tennessee. We have flash flood watches. That's the green areas. The orange areas are heat advisories, and then the uh, bright uh, or the kind of the purplish red values are actually heat warnings. The quantitative precipitation forecast or QPF uh, keeps much of the bulk of the rain to our uh, northwest. But uh, again, over parts of uh, the northern uh, third and western third, we may see a little bit more rain. Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk along the mid-Atlantic states and an, ex uh, an enhanced risk over parts of uh, Kansas, Colorado, and uh, Nebraska, extending down into just a little bit of Oklahoma. And of course, that is surrounded by a uh, slight risk area. No slight risk areas at all on day two. Uh, that would uh, the, there's a marginal risk over the middle Mississippi River Valley extending down into Oklahoma and the Red River Valley. And then for day three, we see that there's just a couple of marginal risk areas over northern Virginia and one over parts of South Dakota, Nebraska, and uh, Wyoming. And the tropics, uh, the Atlantic Basin, still quiet. We still have that little area of disturbed weather that is to the south and southeast of the Cape Verde Islands. And uh, in the Pacific, uh, the eastern Pacific, we have Frank, uh, as well as an area of disturbed weather. None of those expected to be any kind of threat to land. Not much going on in the central Pacific, but when you get out into the western North Pacific, we have Tropical Storm O5W, and I can't pronounce that one. I'm not even going to try. Moving into uh, Vietnam later today and uh, dissipating. All right, the 06 GFS model run. And there's our little bit of a weakness at, uh, along the Mississippi River at 500 millibars. It's roughly about 20,000 feet. We've kind of got split um, upper ridges, one over the southwestern United States and one over Florida. And uh, that just keeps us in kind of the, the showers. And I think, again, they'll be a little bit more numerous uh, across our area, much like we've seen for the last day or so. The troughiness continues with us as the ridge to the southeast kind of abates a little bit, but the 594 height contour remains over the southwestern United States. So on Friday, it looks like we're going to see, once again, showers. They'll probably be scattered, but a little more numerous than we normally see on most summer days. The troughiness begins to um, leave as it weakens on Saturday, and so I think showers become a little less uh, prevalent and a lot more into the, the isolated to scattered category. By Sunday, uh, the trough's still visible, but certainly uh, beginning to pull off to the north 
And uh, on Monday, we can see the trough moving out into the uh, mid-Atlantic states and the ridge beginning to nose our way, and the ridge noses our way even closer on Tuesday. So as we head into the first of next week, it does look like just isolated showers primarily is uh, going to be in the forecast. When we get out to Wednesday, we see that the 594 has begun to shrink. It's just over the southeast corner of Kansas, uh, and that's good because that means there won't be too much extreme heat. But by Thursday, a week from today, there is no 594 contour. That's good. But the basically the upper ridge uh, going from coast to coast, from the west coast, uh, southern California, all the way to the east coast and the Carolinas. Now, looking out into voodoo country, the GFS is rather bullish on bringing the troughiness back across the eastern a third of the country, especially along the east coast of the U.S. We can see that on Sunday. Uh, this is August the 7th. Also notice over the Yucatan, there's a little bit of uh, disturbance going on there. Moving out to the 10th of August, and we can see the GFS very bullish on this uh, trough over the east coast, bringing uh, the 582 contour all the way down into the Carolinas, almost to South Carolina. But notice also there's a little disturbance approaching the coast of Texas, and we see that one more time as it comes ashore over uh, northern Mexico. So um, GFS uh, also, uh, by the time we get out to the 12th here, the GFS still pretty bullish on that trough over the eastern part of the country. Also bullish on the 594 contour returning with some pretty good heat for the central and uh, uh, north central part of the United States. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I'll have the next one posted first thing on Friday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.